Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. I'm here at the dealership having my Bolt EV's software updated. This is the new update to better track uh, battery cell levels and uh, and I'm also getting some of the other patches like having Android Auto display full screen on my on my infotainment system. So uh, I'm just going to walk you through how it goes and in the meantime look at some uh, some other Bolt EVs that are on the lot. Whew, 35,000. Not bad. Okay, so I'm here at Rydell and I just uh, dropped off my car to uh, have the uh, reflash done and I, I heard some stories about how that didn't actually work out very well for some people or they had some issues after and so I'm kind of reluctant to do this only because um, I haven't had any problems after over 50,000 miles so we'll see um, but uh, but yeah I'll, I'll get you guys updated uh, when I find out more uh, this isn't my Bolt EV. This is a, a 2018, uh, but pretty similarly specced, it looks like. Not bad. It's uh, 35245 So they have a $3,000 uh, dealer uh, discount. So, you, you know, if you're a California resident, that means you're pretty much around 25000 that uh, you're looking for a uh, final price. And this does have DC fast charging. So, yeah, I mean, I can't... Obviously, there weren't a whole lot of refreshes. Uh, the steering wheel has a different finish on it. So mine has the leather. Um, I So this is maybe a little bit more basically appointed. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm just here uh, waiting to, to get the message that my car is done reflashing. And... Uh, I'm a little bit reluctant, but uh, yeah, I haven't had any issues in over 50,000 miles, so I don't know that I need it, but I, I just feel like I should get the, the most updated um, software. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to probably head out to lunch while they're doing that, and the good thing is tire rotation is only going to cost me about 20 bucks, so pretty cool. All right, well, that went fairly well. Um, yeah, it was pretty painless. It was a little bit long, but I guess service centers on a, on a Saturday are that way. Uh, other than immediately noticing the letterboxing um, gone on the infotainment display using Google Maps, there's not a whole lot um, otherwise present. My uh, Android Auto had to resync, uh, but the range estimator looks pretty much what I would expect. I haven't seen anything significant change with that, but I, I believe I have about 50 miles to drive to get home, and I, I have more than half a battery. They were nice enough to plug me in, even if it was only for like 10 minutes, uh, but the battery on my camera is actually almost uh, dead, so I'm going to go ahead and head back and uh, just get some initial driving impressions, but from what I've seen so far, the, the vehicle functions almost exactly as it was supposed to, and the, like I said, the Android Auto is, is now full screen on the infotainment center. So, so far, so good. Um, and I'll let you guys know if anything else changes. Okay, so we made it home. Uh, short detour, of course. Uh, I had to go do something else on the way back. Uh, but, yeah, 55.4 miles. So, uh, interesting thing, when they did this update, it actually reset the screen. So... I went back to zero miles. It didn't reset my trip and they didn't recharge me to full. Uh, and I actually wonder uh, if that might explain some of the behavior that some people were uh, observing because I, I saw the exact same thing happen. So when I was on my display, even though the trip was already over, you know, 150 miles at this point, it immediately started losing efficiency after the update and it dropped down to like the low two miles per kilowatt hour. Now that might have been appropriate had I simply been uh, 
climbing a hill and getting onto the freeway, which, which I was, but you know, it, it shouldn't have averaged that out over the trip unless, uh, and I didn't think about this at the time, unless this was reset to zero, because as you can see, uh, here, it's just under 14 kilowatt hours used for 50, you know, 55.4 miles traveled. And now the, uh, trip meter here is reading, um, four, 0.0 miles per kilowatt hour. So I wonder if what happened is when it reset, uh, it also maybe reset the average and it didn't know what to think about it. So anyway, um, yeah. And, and then of course the other thing is you'll notice I'm a little over 30% and it's, you know, the min is reading 51 miles um, and the, the uh, average is reading 67. And in my, my experience, that's very, very conservative. And I, I think maybe they made the range estimator a bit more conservative than it had been before. And to the point that, I don't know, it, it's, it seems extreme to me. Uh, previously, I think the min was reading closer to what the average is, or pretty, pretty uh, close to that. So I think under normal circumstances or previous to this patch, uh, min miles instead of 51 would have probably been about 60. Uh, but but otherwise, uh, everything else seems to be going well and no longer letter brought and boxed on the infotainment center, and which actually is taking some getting used to. So overall, yeah, it was a very seamless process. It only cost me about $20. It was actually exactly $20 to have uh, my tires and uh, wheels rotated and uh, mount mounted, remounted and uh, the patch is free because it was required uh, according to GM. So uh, yeah, I mean, overall have no complaints. It took a little while, but like I said, I think, I don't think that had anything to do with the patch itself. I think it just had to do with the service center being busy. I, I think the range estimator is maybe a little bit more conservative than it needs to be. Uh, and the center display reset. So expect to see your immediate efficiency uh, displayed, it looks like, and not necessarily what it was with your trip previous. Uh, but other than that, everything seems great and uh, full screen on the infotainment center. I've got no complaints. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, uh, like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching.